Okay, welcome America, welcome India, and welcome Selena Gomez to a quick review of finding the domain of compos um, composite functions. So uh, we are gonna start with problem seven on the attached worksheet. So number seven, f, or sorry, h of f of x. So I, go ahead, I went ahead and I rewrote the functions up here just so we can see them on the board. And rewrote this as h of f of x. Now, f of x is what? We're given x plus three. So before we even start, we have to think about for our input, which is x plus three, are we gonna have any domain red flags? What does x plus three look like? Straight line. Y equals x and it's just gone up three. Do we have any issues with that domain? We can plug in a negative value, we can plug a positive value in, and we can plug in zero, we're good. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and plug in x plus three into uh, h of x for x. So, uh, <coughs> so our new x is x plus three, x plus three, and then minus four. Okay, that's h of f of x. Simplify it. And we just have x, um, what is that, minus one? Okay, now, do we have any domain restrictions? got a radical, we have to take what's under the radical and make sure that is, whoops, x minus one has to be greater than or equal to zero. It's okay if it's equal to zero, because we can, we can plot the point zero, zero. So I move the one over and I get x values have to be greater than or equal to one. So how do I write that? The domain. Mm, in green. The domain. Um, I'll just write it in interval notation. So they have to be greater than or equal to one. So let me back up. We're going from one to infinity. Good. Beautiful. Questions? Okay, number eight. Now we take a look at our input h of x. We've got a radical. Immediately we know we can't input any values with the, the domain of this input function that we're inputting into g of x. Uh, the values have to be, x has to be greater than four, right? Or equal to. We know that before we start. Now let's go ahead and see uh, what this composite function is. So I'm gonna plug in, where's my g of x? Right here. We've got three over our new x, which is the square root of x minus four. Okay, well now we've got this same radical in a denominator. We cannot have that square root equal to zero. That denominator can't be equal to zero. So our domain is just gonna be instead of the hard bracket, soft bracket, from four, but not including four, to infinity. 